For this lesson, it's actually an introduction to angles. We're going to be naming different angles. So let's see the four different kind we're going to be talking about today. We have adjacent angles, and notice I've marked the text that they share a common vertex right here, and they share a common side. So we can see that angle one and angle two are what we call uh, um, adjacent angles. I like to think of them as neighbors. So for the second one, we have complementary angles, and they will always have the sum of 90 degrees. And here is an example of a pair of complementary angles. Notice angle one and angle two equal 90 degrees, and we know that because of the perpendicular box. These lines hit at 90 degrees. So we do know that those are complementary. They're actually complementary adjacent angles. We could name them with both of those names. You can also have complementary angles, and I'm just going to randomly draw two. They may not look like they add up to 90 degrees, but I'm going to mark this one as a 60 and this one as a 30. And then that number, in case you can't read it, is 30 degrees. The angles do not have to be adjacent. As long as the two angles equal 90 degrees, we know that they are complementary. For the next one, we have supplementary angles. And notice it says that it has a sum of 180 degrees. So again, angle one and angle two, they are also adjacent angles because they share that side and they do share a vertex. So we know that those two, they form, actually these two together are 180 degrees. They are supplementary. But again, we can end up having an angle here and then I'm going to make a little smaller angle. And I'm going to call this 150 degrees. And this one I'm going to call 30 degrees. They may not look quite like what that measurement would be. But remember, we're just going by my numbers. And we know that both of these add up to 180 degrees. So this is indeed another example of supplementary angles. Looking at vertical angles, they're opposite angles that, that form when two lines intersect. Vertical angles are congruent, which means we know that they're equal. And here are two sets. Notice we have a two and a four. They're across from each other. Uh, I like to think of that forming an X, and it's just what's right across from it. And then those are congruent. They're equal, a one and a three are equal. So now that we've talked about these four different kinds of angles, let's see if we can identify some of the angles in the picture that is given. So we have five angles that are marked in that picture. So let's look at the first question. It says, name the angle that is vertical to angle one. Well, here's angle one. And we want what is vertical. Well, we know that it's here's my two intersecting lines, and it's going to be what is right across from it. So that would be angle four. Let's look at the number two. Name an angle that is adjacent to angle three. Well, angle three is right here. And I can see that angle three actually shares a side and a vertex with angle two. So you might be saying, but wait a minute. I see that angle three also shares a side and a vertex with angle four. And so there are actually two angles that we could consider adjacent to angle three. So that was angle two and angle four are adjacent. Name an angle that is adjacent to angle two. Well, here is angle two. Remember, what 
shares a side with angle two. Well, I see angle one shares a, a side and, and a vertex. So angle one is a choice. And you probably can tell from my voice that I'm going to name another one because I can see that angle two also shares a side with angle three, and that would be considered adjacent. Which angle is complementary to angle four? Well, complementary means that it has to add up to 90 degrees. And right here, this box tells me that four and three add up to 90 degrees. So we know the answer to that one is angle three. Which angle is supplementary to angle five? Well, here is angle five. Supplementary, if we look at our definition, it adds up to 180 degrees. And notice, it the two angles actually form a line. So looking at this picture, I can see angle one and angle five are definitely supplementary. So it's angle one and angle five. I'm gonna list it twice like that because there is definitely another one. And the other one that is supplementary to angle five is angle four. Notice it does form a line. So I am listing two, so it is angle five and angle four. Both of those angles would be supplementary to angle five. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more Math with Marsha. See you again soon.